Hello, and a very warm welcome to Alenti Royal YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle were spotted together for the first time since Megxit as they stepped off a plane in Canada on Valentine's Day. Pictures obtained exclusively by LMT Royal Channel showed the royal couple were all smiles carrying their own bags, as they landed in Canada minus baby Archie, after taking a flight from the US. They touched down at Victoria Airport at around 4.45 p.m. Friday, with what appeared to be a small group of security. The couple chose to take a commercial flight this time, having previously been slammed for preaching about saving the planet and then flying around the world by private jet. Meghan also opted for an eco-friendly outfit for the flight. The Duchess, who led the way out of the plane with her husband following closely behind, was wearing a striped shirt, black cardigan, jeans and black pumps, and her hair was loose around her neck. She was carrying a bag over her shoulder with a bulky grey sweater tucked into the strap and clutching a Prada duffel bag. Her $125 black pumps are from Rothy's, a San Francisco-based company that turns recycled water bottles into shoes. Fashion Bible Vogue has even dubbed the footwear as among the most politically correct shoes on our beleaguered planets. Meanwhile, the $1,790 duffel bag comes from Prada's Ray Nylon line, which uses Econol, a material that can allegedly be recycled indefinitely. It is made from mixing ocean waste and textile waste into fabric. Her shirt is from Misha Nanu, the U.S., based British Bahraini fashion designer and Meghan's close friend. Meanwhile, Harry looked casual in a grey sweater, jeans, and a baseball cap. In a departure from their royal ways, the couple carried their cabin bags off the flight. Meghan looked like she meant business with what appeared to be a black leather laptop case or portfolio tucked underneath her arm. The couple were presumed to be in the States for business meetings as they looked to break away from the royal family and start making money independent of the crown. Judging by their smiles as they walked along down the plane steps and onto the tarmac, it seems their business trips was a success. The couple appeared to have left behind the turmoil of recent weeks as they beamed at one another and at their small roster of staff. There was no sign of baby Archie, who is thought to be being looked after in their $14 million Canadian hideaway, while the couple set to work carving out new business ventures. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been in the US since last week when they made their first public appearance as a couple since their shock announcement that they were taking a step back from royal duties and leaving life in the UK behind. The pair visited luxury five-star hotel, One Hotel South Beach in Miami, for the J.P. Morgan Summit on February 6, where Harry gave a keynote speech to the crowd. During his speech, Harry told American bankers he has been in therapy for seven years to cope with the loss of his mother. An expert estimated the couple would have been paid up to $1 million to appear at the star-studded bash. It is not clear how Harry and Meghan traveled to Florida for the event. Morgan's private Gulfstream jet had flown to Vancouver Airport in Canada, near to where the couple have been living since quitting royal life. It then left at 12.10 p.m. Wednesday and landed in Palm Beach at 8.3 p.m. Harry and Meghan stayed at Serena Williams' home in Palm Beach during the appearance. It is unclear if they were on that jet. Palm Beach is around 80 miles north of Miami. After the JPMORGAN bash, the couple then paid a visit to the prestigious Stanford University in Palo Alto, California, on Tuesday, according to royal sources. As reported by the Today Show, Harry and Meghan are said to have attended brainstorming sessions with several professors and academics from the university, who have been helping them to work on the concept and creation of their new charitable organization. When the couple first announced their plans to step back from senior royal life, they made mention of their plans to launch a new charity, writing on their website that their decision to split their time between North America and the UK would help them in this endeavor. This geographic balance will enable us to raise our son with an appreciation for the royal tradition into which he was born, while also providing our family with the space to focus on the next chapter, including the launch of our new charitable entity 
Massachusetts, they wrote. It is unclear what role the Stanford professors and academics have within this new entity, nor have Harry and Meghan made clear exactly what cause, or causes, the organization will focus on. It is unclear if they will. 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 It is unclear. Angela, Megan's mother Doria lies in Los Angeles, a six-hour drive away from Stanford, a possible factor in their decision. While the Duke and Duchess appeared content as they stepped down in Canada on Friday, their staff may be less so. After LMT Royal Channel this week revealed, they were given their marching orders. The couple are in the process of closing their Buckingham Palace office and axing their hugely experienced 15. Strong team of London-based staff. Almost all major decisions and certainly their social media strategy are now being made by the couple themselves and a coterie of US celebrity agents and publicists. The couple's decision to hire as Meddling's group of celebrity, US-based agents and publicists has made life difficult for their palace staff. The couple have been organizing private engagements and briefings with their new team, and even hired a Canadian designer to create a new website without any involvement from royal advisors. Meghan's mother Doria lies in Los Angeles, a six-hour drive away from Stanford, a possible factor in their decision. While the Duke and Duchess appeared content as they stepped down in Canada on Friday, their staff may be less so. After LMT Royal Channel this week revealed, they were given their marching orders. The couple are in the process of closing their Buckingham Palace office and axing their hugely experienced 15. Strong team of London-based staff. Almost all major decisions and certainly their social media strategy are now being made by the couple themselves and a coterie of US celebrity agents and publicists. The couple's decision to hire as Meddling's group of celebrity, US-based agents and publicists has made life difficult for their palace staff. The couple have been organizing private engagements and briefings with their new team, and even hired a Canadian designer to create a new website without any involvement from royal advisors. Meghan's mother Doria lies in Los Angeles, a six-hour drive away from Stanford, a possible factor in their decision. While the Duke and Duchess appeared content as they stepped down in Canada on Friday, their staff may be less so. After LMT Royal Channel this week revealed, they were given their marching orders. The couple are in the process of closing their Buckingham Palace office and axing their hugely experienced 15. Strong team of London-based staff. Almost all major decisions and certainly their social media strategy are now being made by the couple themselves and a coterie of US celebrity agents and publicists. The couple's decision to hire as Meddling's group of celebrity, US-based agents and publicists has made life difficult for their palace staff. The couple have been organizing private engagements and briefings with their new team, and even hired a Canadian designer to create a new website without any involvement from royal advisors. Please support Growing LNT Royal Channel by subscribe channel like and share videos hour. Your support is the motivation for us to produce better videos. Don't stop.